Why is Hermes so expensive? Welcome to Alux.com, the place where future billionaires come to get inspired. If you're not subscribed yet, you're missing out. Hello Aluxers and welcome back for today's video in which we'll be stepping into the world of high fashion. So for you, what brand best brings to mind images of the luxury lifestyle? There are of course a few you could choose from, but you'd have a tough job naming one classier than Hermes. And that's because anything made by this Paris-based fashion label isn't just an object of beauty, but an indicator of the owner's fashion sense, wealth, and impeccable taste. And there's nothing that screams style more than Hermes' best-known creation, the Birkin bag, the ultimate symbol of chic. Its fans include Kim Kardashian and Victoria Beckham, who both boast huge collections of Birkins. But with a starting price around $9,000, sometimes climbing into six figures, it's hardly surprising that not many of us can walk around with one of these in our arms. Of course, if a Birkin is a little out of your price range, you could always go for a more modestly priced item, perhaps an Hermes scarf. With retail value starting over $400, this is a lot more affordable, but it's far from an ordinary scarf. All this leads us to question, why is Hermes so expensive? Well, Aluxers, here are a few reasons. Number 1. High Quality Natural Materials First of all, Hermes uses only natural materials and nothing but the finest ones. Whether it's a high-grade calf leather or a more exotic ostrich, alligator, or crocodile skin, the leather for all Hermes bags is sourced by Hermes's team of leather hunters, whose job it is to track down the very best skins from around the world. Crocodile bags command an especially high price, not just because of the scarcity of the material, but also because they're known to be difficult to work with. A crocodile bag requires around double the time it takes to make one from calf skin. And the most prized Birkin of them all is the Himalaya White, nicknamed the Holy Grail of handbags. It gets its eye-catching, scaled look from the skin of albino crocodiles. In fact, the most expensive handbag ever sold at auction was a Birkin Himalaya, which fetched an amazing $379,261. And that same dedication to the very best materials is also true of Hermes's silk products, which include their classy range of scarves and neckties. While silk is about as luxurious as fabrics get, Hermes is still picky about where they get it from. While Hermes originally bought the raw material from China, they later decided that Chinese silk wasn't of a high enough quality and switched supply to higher-grade Brazilian varieties. And the process of making this material is resource-intensive, to say the least. On a silk farm, 250 silkworms each consume 15 kilograms of mulberry leaves before spinning enough silk thread to stretch 450,000 meters if you were to unravel it. That's the amount needed for just one Hermes scarf. Whatever the product, if it's an Hermes, the materials are of the highest quality, and needless to say, come at a high price, too. Number 2. Unrivaled Craftsmanship so far, we've just talked about raw materials, but what about putting them together? Other fashion houses, including some luxury ones, often outsource production to countries where labor costs less or use machines. All understandable business decisions, but ones that Hermes would never dream of. That's because Hermes has a proud history of handcrafting throughout its 180 years of history, something that it simply isn't going to turn its back on. So to this day, Hermes goods are put together by hand by skilled artisans working in the 10 Hermes Atelier, French for workshop, all located in France. Each worker has to go through 10 years of apprenticeship before they're given the prestigious title of artisan. So how exactly are Hermes items made? For silk products, Hermes refuses to use computers to create the designs, instead using classic low-tech engraving techniques. This involves a team of artists engraving the designs onto screens by hand. A separate screen is used for each color, and as Hermes's scarves have an average of 27 colors, engravers spend a total of 750 hours on a single design. And since we're talking about some of the most highly skilled designers in the business, it's not hard to tell that this amount of labor isn't going to come cheap. Number 3. Each item is unique Looking at how Birkins are made, we can see not just how much labor goes into them, but also another key ingredient that makes Hermes so special. Each item is unique. 
A Birkin bag is made by one single leather worker from start to finish, meaning it's the same pair of hands that makes the leather smooth, does the stitching, and nails on the metallic components, on average taking around 18 hours per bag. And because it's all made by the same artisan, this allows individual touches to go into each item. Hermes bag makers even claim they can spot their own work in a lineup or in photos of them on the arms of celebrities in glossy magazines. This makes each handbag a work of art, and of course, it increases their desirability and price. Number 4. Precious Metals and Gemstones Surely you couldn't have missed all the shiny metal on a Birkin bag, and you might have wondered what they're made of. And you wouldn't be surprised to hear that these shiny things are worth a lot just by themselves. For most of us, owning anything made of gold is a rare luxury, but if you're a Birkin bag collector, gold is the default material for hardware, and if it's not gold, that means the clasps, locks, and support studs under the bag are made of palladium, a silvery precious metal that is currently priced even higher than gold. And if you're having a Birkin bag custom made and palladium isn't classy enough for you, you could also ask for a few diamonds to be encrusted into the hardware. Number 5 durability. While Hermes items are definitely beautiful, they're not just decorations. Besides all the glamour, they do serve a purpose. And as you could expect, you can rely on anything Hermes not to wear out or break. For example, all of their leather bags are sewn together by hand using a special technique with a single piece of thread per bag. This method makes the handbags stronger than anything created by a sewing machine, meaning that your Hermes bag won't fall apart. And what about all those precious metals on the bags? Well, gold and palladium are known for being especially tarnish resistant, which means that it's also guaranteed to keep its shine. Number 6. And last but certainly not least, Hermes goods are expensive because of their limited availability. The relatively scarce numbers of these items on the market make each item more desirable. Until recently, if you wanted to order a Birkin, you would have to be put on a waiting list, sometimes running into the years. But recently, Hermes has made themselves even more exclusive, getting rid of the waiting list, and now only VIP clients can place orders for Birkins. Being a VIP client means either you're somebody really important, or you regularly spend vast sums of money in Hermes stores, and by doing this, pushes up the value of a Birkin bag even further, placing it among the world's most exclusive fashion accessories. But what if you're not lucky enough to be on Hermes's VIP list, but you do have the cash for a Birkin? Well, you also have the option of buying on the resale market. Nowadays, a lot of transactions take place over sites specially dedicated to Birkins, or even over Instagram. There have been concerns that this might take away from the value of an Hermes bag, as they might seem to be less exclusive. But so far, it seems to have the opposite effect, with prices for secondhand Birkins going far above the original retail price. The reason seems to be that greater exposure on the internet has brought Birkin to a wider audience of high spenders, and this has made the demand increase even more than the supply, the result being that they've actually become even more expensive. Which leads us to the question of, are Hermes products worth it? With their top-grade materials and the incredible levels of craftsmanship that goes into them, the verdict is if you can afford it, then yes, Hermes products really are worth the price tag. And keep in mind, if you buy a bag by Hermes, that doesn't necessarily mean you're parting with your money. A study has shown that over the past two decades, Birkin bags have increased in value by more than five times over a 15-year period. Yes, that's right, a 500% return on your investment. You don't need a degree in finance to figure out that's a winner. In fact, it beats gold or the stock market, and it also performs better than real estate, which seems appropriate as some of these handbags literally cost as much as a house. Question. Aluxers, we're curious to know, if you were given a Birkin bag, what would you do with it? Would you carry it around town or give it to a significant other, or perhaps put it in a display case or sell it straight away? Or would you keep it locked up and wait for its value to increase? Let us know in the comments. And of course, for sticking with us until the end, here's your bonus. We mentioned earlier that the record for the most expensive bag ever sold at auction was a Birkin, selling for over $300,000. But recently, another purchase beat even that, and no prizes for guessing it was also a Birkin bag. 
This transaction didn't take place at an auction house, but was arranged over Instagram. Early in 2019, pro sports better and Instagrammer Dave Wancha, known to his followers as Vegas Dave, purchased a Himalaya Birkin for $500,000. This is thought to be the most expensive handbag ever sold, and apparently just the lock studded with diamonds would cost $80,000 to replace. When asked why he bought it, Dave answered he just loves breaking records, whether for winning money or spending it. He stated that if anyone wants to buy the bag, he wouldn't even consider parting with it for less than a million dollars. Thank you for spending some time with us, Aluxers. Make sure to like and subscribe so you never miss another video. We also handpicked these videos, which we recommend you watch next. You can talk to us on all social medias or ask a question on our website, alux.com. Thank you for being an Aluxer, and we'll see you back tomorrow.